welcome to this evening's inaugural lecture given tonight by Professor Wilson Poole. Uh, as I've said before, anything like this, I like to tell everybody what's going to happen so if you're at the wrong event, you can stand up and walk out. <laughs> Everybody's scared Wilson, so that's good news. So I'm Leslie Eloise, uh, and I'm Vice Principal and Head of the College of Science and Engineering. And I have to say that hosting inaugural lectures is one of the happy duties, one of the very pleasant duties of being head of college, although I'm not convinced I'll be so happy later on tonight. But uh, it is one, and I know tonight that Wilson will not disappoint me. I know we're in for a real treat tonight. So it's my pleasure to welcome you all here tonight, in particular to welcome Wilson's family, his wife Heidi, and his son Aidan. I'm sorry, Wilson, that your daughter Rebecca can't make it. She's apparently attending alternative physics lectures in Cambridge. <laughs> but a warm welcome too to Wilson's academic and industrial colleagues and to his friends. Uh, we're in for a treat, as I've said, and so if you'll just um, bear with me, I'll just do a little history of why we're here. Uh, no, no, you stay there. <laughs> so tonight we're here to celebrate Wilson's succession to the chair of natural philosophy which is one of the oldest and most prestigious chairs in the University of Edinburgh. It was established in 1708 within the Faculty of Arts, where it remained until 1893, when it moved to the Faculty of Science. Previous holders of the chair have been Adam Ferguson, John Robeson, John Playfair, Peter Guthrie Tate, Charles Glover Barclay, who went on to win the Nobel Prize, and most recently, Mike Cates. And I know that Wilson will add further gloss to this established chair with its wonderful history. So a few words about Wilson himself. Although how you describe Wilson in a few words... <laughs> <laughs> oh, do try. I will. <laughs> so Wilson moved to the UK from Hong Kong when he was 17 and went to Cambridge as an undergraduate and then stayed to study for a PhD in mineral physics at the Cavendish Labs. After a year, he went to Portsmouth Polytechnic, uh, and then he joined the School of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Edinburgh. Wilson describes himself as an experimental physicist interested in soft matter and biological physics. And what he does is he uses well-characterized colloidal suspensions to study questions of generic relevance across the whole of condensed matter and statistical physics. He likes to give himself a wide playing field. His group pioneered the use of fast confocal microscopy to image concentrated suspensions under flow in real time at single particle resolution. And what he does is he uses the insights gained from such research and experiments to solve practical problems. And he's worked with industrialists from food, ceramics, personal care, and agrochemicals. His work has been recognised by fellowships of the Institute of Physics and the Royal Society of Edinburgh, as well as research fellowships from the Croucher Foundation, Nuffield, EPSRC and the University of Amsterdam. And he has had numerous invitations to present his work all over the world. So we're extremely lucky that he's managed to touch down in Edinburgh for long enough to speak to us tonight. <laughs> However, it would be remiss of me not to mention a further string to Wilson's bow, that is, of his interest in the relationship between science and Christianity, uh, sorry, Christian theology. His special interest is in the writings of the theologians of the early church and how the science-faith relationship is explored in literature and especially in poetry. Wilson has previously described himself as a kid at heart who enjoys mucking about with stuff. That's highly technical speak. And I now invite him to talk about his stuff in his lecture entitled Caramel, Cement and Corn Flour, Adventures of a Modern Natural Philosopher, Wilson. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leslie. Let me see what I know how to do this. So, so this is the title of my lecture. Now, there's a lot of mucking about with stuff tonight. <laughs> there's only one person in the audience who's in danger, and that's Leslie herself. Uh, there's a demonstration I actually want to do halfway through the lecture.
But if I leave it to halfway, poor Anne would have to stir that tank of corn flour until half of the lecture. So Leslie has graciously agreed to make a fool of herself right from the beginning. So here is the stunt. <laughs> here I am! <laughs> so here's a, here's a bucket of, uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a spoonful of full corn flour. <laughs> and um, there's a very brave uh, group of postdocs and students who have spent all afternoon stirring it in. Um, now? Leslie, is this going to be um, leading to my career? <laughs> <laughs> Take tonight. <laughs> this could be the only time Professor gets sacked at the end of his inaugural lecture. <laughs> <laughs> so, just keep it. So, so that she can actually walk on cornstarch. <laughs> and now John, I think he's going to oh. punch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see? Oh, now she's sunk in. <laughs> Explain that in a moment, but John is now going to show that if you don't walk, you sink. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get out? I don't know. <laughs> this is give, me a, give me a while. <laughs> so, while you get out, I can get on. <laughs> so, let's see. <laughs> right, so I'm going to stand around here. Um, so, um, so here's, here's, here's the uh, title of my lecture again. So, this is the... Uh, <laughs> we said it has to be like that all night. <laughs> you know, he's going to come out curiously. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the uh, sermon is, the thing to do at the end. Anyway, so I shall explain all that in So, this is the first time, and hopefully last time, I apply for a job. Actually, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Even at the end. Right? This is the first and probably only the last time I would apply, I have applied for a job that I don't actually know what it means. Because <laughs> so I don't actually know what natural philosophy is about. 